So we're here in Tohatchee today and we had a monumental moment for this community. We had a ribbon cutting event where we celebrated the new technology that is coming on the Navajo Nation, Tarana, and we celebrated with the local government here in Tohatchee. I'm especially happy to be here at this groundbreaking ribbon cutting event. Tohatchee is my hometown. I was raised less than 100 yards from here and less than five miles from where my grandparents live. From here, I can see how the world of technology has changed significantly. In 2013, NTUA built the fiber backbone that runs along Highway 491. As this build out was taking place, questions started as to when are we going to get internet? We heard that you know, from residents, when are we going to be able to get, um, see the benefits of the fiber build out that was going through the community? Well, it's taken over 10 years to answer those questions. By creating this wireless path, the community will now have access to broadband internet services. And that's why NTUA sought a partnership to establish NTUA Wireless. It's happened in other communities and now Tohatchee has joined that broadband wireless internet network. We thank you community residents and community leaders for opening that wireless broadband door and granting Tohatchee the chance to catch up with the rest of America. It's important to note that this is the first true broadband capable of 100 plus megabit speeds. Up until today, the nation has had access to lower end speeds, nine meg has been the maximum. And so this truly is a technology with Tirana that is opening doors that have previously been closed. So this site in Tehachi is, is the very first site but there's a lot of work to do to be able to cover the vastness of the Navajo Nation. And so we're excited to launch this site today, but we also understand that there's much more work to be done, and we hope to continue to do this in the future through other opportunities and funding through programs such as ARPA, BEAD, and others, so that we can continue the vital mission of bringing true broadband to the Navajo Nation. I do have um, infrastructure and different types of businesses that are wanting to come into our communities to serve our people. But one of the biggest hindrance is taking payments. We have our own entrepreneurs here in the communities. When you drove in to this area of Tohachi, you probably saw on the side of the road, there was three vehicles parking that were selling breakfast burritos. So if you don't have cash, then you're out of luck because they won't take a card because we don't have internet out here. Our people are nestled into these valleys and these canyons because it's been our home for so long. We want the very best for the less cost for our people. And so if we can get that, then that'd be great. And what I heard about the technology here is how it doesn't have to have a direct line to the home, that it can bounce off, come back, and it'll catch it again. So thank you so much for that. Forethought, thank you so much for bringing that to the Navajo Nation. In the past, we, we haven't had access to high-speed internet services. And with this new technology, at minimum 100 by 20 megabits per second. And you can scale that up to one gig uh, later on as they advance the technology. So this is, you know, fiber to the home is very expensive. Uh, the Navajo Nation, 27,000 square miles, very vast, far in between communities, and even the homes are far apart. This is the ideal solution. You could never substitute fiber, but this is gonna come close to that, and this is the next best thing. So the advanced technology that Toronto is bringing in into this community will benefit the local folks here. And we're looking forward to being a part of this community as Choice Broadband. We're also bringing these services at a very affordable price. We wanna bring some businesses in also. And technology is really tied to this. Madam Vice President brought that up. She made a good point about you have to have cash in places like Gallup where they have access to high speed. You know, you can run your card through that phone and you can make payments that way now. It's not out here yet. The main thing is to, is to be able to work from home. 
definitely improved my life, especially during the winter months, um, or before I would have to walk walk to my office, um, cold cold temperatures, late at night, um, to do additional work. Um, now, now I can again just just work from home. I can stream uh, music, video, while still working on my laptop. Um, my daughter is able to um, be browsing the internet at the same time, and, and there's no slowdown. It's just been a very positive experience. Um, the, the download speed and upload speed is just phenomenal. Um, nothing that we've been able to get out here in Tohachi before. It's just been wonderful, um, the overall experience from start to, to today.